Welcome everybody to this MITMAC Masterclass episode and um, the reason I'm so serious is we're going to get into a very, very serious topic and it's time. Yeah. It's the most expensive commodity or exchange that we could give from ourselves. There's nothing worth more than our time. I'll so. be extremely rich if I can make time. Yeah, we all would. So we're going to get into some techniques that we teach at our dealership on time management and we, we're going to get into the background and the, uh, the ancient clock that is built within us and yeah it's going to be an exciting discussion. Are you ready? Ready. Sure. Anna Marie and Eddie as always. Welcome it's about time. Ready. Guys does it feel like it was yesterday that we were teenagers yeah definitely but only look at this year there's only 11 like these and we've already lost one yeah. well there's 12 but we've already yeah. lost one yeah. we're in february it and was... we're in the new month already yeah. no it's yeah. amazing the last time i checked time i was preparing for my metric my, my, my metric exam your metric exam and here yeah. we are now <laughs> yeah it was a few years ago not a lot because you look like you're 21 maybe 22 yeah but it, it's it's longer than that so in a heartbeat you know time flies by mm -hmm. it's it's very quick when you're having fun uh, when you do when you're doing enjoyable things uh, things that you like listening yeah. to music scrolling through that Facebook feed or the Instagram feed it goes like this time travels a lot slower if you're going through hardship or you're experiencing a difficult day or situation or whatever you're going through that's tough it takes it takes longer and um, before we get into techniques of how you can give yourself back time I want to go into everybody starts off with 24 hours yeah. there's a beautiful book that we read as a, as a company and it's called think like a monk and a line that really stood out for me was the gentleman steals time at night to give it back to himself in the morning and that changed that changed my dynamic and myself and my wife have moved into a new house recently a while, a while ago and we still haven't got a TV because I can steal the TV time at night away from the TV and give it back to myself in the morning and I can actually wake up at four o'clock now. So you can make time for things that you prioritize and the things that you schedule. But before we get into that, I just want to read... And the reason I'm going to read it is because it's a very difficult word and I don't want to get it wrong because we've got some intellectuals on this video that are going to leave some comments. So it's called circadian clocks. And those are the most ancient clocks that are embedded in everybody and, and plants, trees. And this is just a theory we're sharing. It's, it's, a, it's a very common one, but I want to share it with, with the audience. Circa, meaning approximately... And dian means day. So a plant has an approximate expiry day. It doesn't have a brain. It just approximately this is how long this plant will take to go back into the earth. So, you know, in some form or another, we all do. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Fortunately, fortunately, we don't know when that time is. You know, our creator knows when that time is. Yeah. And, and that's a great thing. That's what keeps everything interesting. That, that's it. That's it. So, bearing that in mind, a colleague of ours um, was having lunch uh, very close to my proximity. And I wasn't eavesdropping, but they were talking loud enough for me to hear that she's struggling right now because she's working long hours and she doesn't have time to study to go and write her final exam. And she's, she's part of our CRM department. And she's starting to be an HR consultant. So, you know, it caught my attention. I said, right, very hot topic at the moment at Mitmac. I need you in my training, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I want to get into what we discussed as a management team and what we teach our people so that we can give back some value to the, um, to the, to the viewers. So we like to segment our day in 30 minutes. So I'll go first and then you can pick it up and you can pick it up. Sure. so that the audience can see what, what we actually mean by that. So I wake up at 4 a.m. and I get ready and at 4.30 I drive to the gym. Yeah. I get to the gym at 5 and I gym till 6. 
6.15, I'm out the sauna and the shower. And 6.30, I'm in my car driving to the dealership till 6.45. 6.45, I prepare for my training that I have to present. And I present it from 7 till 8. Yeah. At 8 o'clock exactly, I walk out and I have a, a discussion with, with head of marketing. During that discussion, we, we talk about um, strategies, performance of ads, and I eat my breakfast. That's where I do it. I've segmented time right there. Then I have a quick five-minute meeting with a buying team and come back for a management team for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I've got a 30-minute meeting with our dealer principal, and then I rush off back to the... So my day is so tightly planned, I've got 30-minute segments, and each and every segment I've filled in, and that's my perfect day. But before we get into that, perhaps you can share your schedule and your schedule as well. Maybe pick it up from... Pick it up from after our management meeting. What happens with your day? Okay, so that gives me before before um, before getting into the day, uh, I would need to first speak to everyone in the team. I tried to do it individually. What time is that? That that's uh, after eight thirty minutes. Uh, eight thirty meeting. That would be just after nine. Five past nine. Yes. Approximately. Yes. Until what time? Um, that would be. I, I try not to 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 keep them with me for too long. So whoever is available. For a good 30, sometimes I drag it to about 40 minutes. But, but just, it's, it's time. Yeah, just to, to speak to everyone, check how they feel, uh, how they feel about the day, what's the plan, and see, identify uh, opportunities where I can assist. Then when that is done, about 15 minutes, straight for breakfast, whilst planning my day, uh, preferably alone in the kitchen, but yeah, <laughs> it's a shared kitchen, so it's at times... It's a shared kitchen. <laughs> at it times gets I'm very <laughs> loud in there. That's why I love coming there. When I'm a little bit down, I spend five minutes there. Yeah. Yeah. Then, immediately after breakfast, run into the FNI office, um, greet the FNIs, check with Janine, look at all the apps from the day before and the current day. Um, yeah, then go bond for another 20 to 35 minutes, 40, with the apps that we, we, we have at, at, at that moment. Go through the apps, identify what needs to be done to, to make sure that they all turn into uh, deliveries. Then from there on, um, schedule meetings again with uh, the, my assistant, the, the assistant manager, sit, go through the day. Um, and that's always happening at the same time, every day. Ev every day, starting, starting, starting from four in the morning. Um, obviously, the, the training is slightly longer, it's not 30 minutes, but... I'm trying, <laughs> I, you know, I want to look like you, so, so I'm going to... I'm going to train longer to catch up to those guns. Yeah. Hopefully one day I can, I can come and stand close to you without having a complex. <laughs> so so my mind gets open at least from, from one. From past one, then that's where we're meeting most of our clients. It's difficult to time it when you're seeing clients because it's, it's one discussion with one client that can be five minutes. The other can be 35 to an hour. But then what happens when those unexpected things happen? You go back to your base. Always. Your, your base Always. is... Talking to your salespeople, yes. talking to your manager. Just just after speaking to one visitor, because with, with visitors, you don't want to live, to put the time limit. You can't. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you can't. That you can't. The rest yeah. you can, but that you can't. Yes. And so, every time, just after shaking hands and goodbye, back to the base. Back to the base. Yeah. So let's pick up your day as from, let's say, we more or less at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. What do you do at 3 p.m.? Um, at 3 p.m., um, F and I start signing. So then they're in and out of the office. I would stay with the juniors at that point of time. So from three to six, I do all the stats. I don't allow any marketers or anyone any time from one o'clock. We don't allow marketers to come and visit because that is a, is a, it's a time eating kind of habit. Yeah, yeah. It can happen with 15 minutes and then suddenly they spend an hour. I don't mind yeah, in the like morning. This. Yes, I don't mind in the morning. Because in the morning I do set up down. I set out an hour to spend with my team, obviously just to pick up on everything and to make sure that it's right. And then the same thing, I pick up with the marketers because I need to speak to them, unfortunately, and with the banks. So from three o'clock, I will only do stats, be in the office for backup, especially when the F and I sign. I can't really leave. That is my fastest. But the same with you guys. It's the fastest space time. Yeah. But 
They've got it under control, yeah. so I'll but only it's be there. It's, it's allocated. It's allocated. Only From that. three to six, people now not to come and visit you. They don't. Because that's what you do. Yes. Then five o'clock normally. So it's stats. Five o'clock, I do all the payment authorizations because I need to make sure they authorize before six o'clock. Um, so I hardly ever do payment authorizations earlier unless it's there's a problem. So then it would happen early morning, but that's normally the time. And then six o'clock, we rush off to masterclass to come in and and spend time with uh the team that's that's not on camera yeah. but uh are just the best team we could ever hope or dream they're for there. they're always there they're supporting us they're helping us write content and uh yeah then we dedicate the time to the viewers yeah. and and adding value i i, I just want to i just want to touch on something i have an opportunity to spend time with a self-made billionaire in us dollars in america and um, the one day, the, f the full focus of my discussion with him was, and I've actually shared, uh, shared that video with, with our management team, or we've, we've, we've seen the video together. And he, he runs a massive company. He actually runs two massive businesses. Yeah. And you guys can remember in the video, he said that he doesn't have 10 minutes to himself. Yeah. 10 minutes. So, so, you know, a life hack. So if you, at this point of the video, there's the life hack. What he taught me is, you're gonna have three daily schedules. You're gonna start off with a very honest one, and you're gonna write down everything that you do at the time that you do it. So please, this will add immense value in your life. Write down everything that you do, and the moment that you, you're not sure of what you do at that time, put a nice dot around it, Write what you think you're doing, but know that that's a potential leak in your day that's unproductive that you need to pay attention to. Your second list needs to be an improved version of that and say, okay, holy moly, I could actually add value by doing these three activities between one and two instead of scrolling through my feed or talking to someone that's not adding value in my life or adding value towards my goal. And the third version of your schedule should be your perfect day. So I've shared my perfect day with you guys, and it's very hectic. Um, you know, I've tried to hit it for two weeks now, and I haven't hit it. I, I've, I've come to about 70% of but my But you're getting perfect. closer. I'm getting day. closer. Yeah. And that is uh, a strict, controlled 15 to 30 minute intervals of, this is what I do now, this is what I do now, this is what I do now, this is what I do now. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that is his secret weapon on how he built two multi-billion dollar companies is just running his time correctly so he doesn't only um, manage his equity and assets he also manages his biggest investment time that's that, and, but the, you have and the time to. manages the rest yeah. and we discussed i mentioned i admitted that time management for me is is a true problem due to the fact that i don't have the same day every day there's certain points that I need to do salaries. There's certain points that I need to do invoicing. There's certain um, days that I you need to address different. So I've got various calendars yeah. on specific days. But what I did is I plotted out specific things that must be done that day. So no matter what, I need That's to create. A must. It's a must. I must create That's the time must. to do the rest. So my calendar is still there for the normal silly things and diarize appointments once it's banks and insurance and new products and but launches. But there's certain things that there's you certain must do. things that I must do. So no matter what, I either need to wake up earlier, I can't get to the gym earlier because they only open at a certain point, um, but then I need to work later that night. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. And I think you get into a habit eventually where you realize, okay, there's certain things that I can do Make use of someone in your office that can assist because I know one of my, my biggest problems was I used to do everything myself. And I got to a point where I said, no, 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 read out the numbers and I'm going to check you. So it, it bought me a lot of time. So I would suddenly reduce it from two hours to only an hour. But, but the reason for that is you, you were consciously aware this is a time wasting activity, not a time gaining activity. Yeah. And then you made the adjustments. You were present. You saw the leak in your in your day. And you made the adjustments and you got that time back. But yes, it was only after we started this whole thing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. And I hope to the viewers, it this is going to yeah, yeah. It adds some value. I think before we go, remember your. I'm going to end off the way we started. Your time is your most valuable asset, and and I think a, a, an effective way to manage your time is just 
constantly trying to be present. You need to be, you need to be present, never on autopilot. Like I'm speaking to the two of you, I'm present. I don't care about what's happening on my phone. I can see it from the corner of my eye. It hasn't stopped, even this time of the evening, but I'm present here. I'm not worried about that. That I'll take care of once we leave the room and I'm on my own and I can go through the stuff and, and prioritize it from there. But being present and uh, making sure you're constantly looking for those leaks within your time management schedule and improving them. I mean, we, we've all learned that with each and every business, um, growth has come from minimizing uh, time yeah. spent on processes. Yeah, so a five minute process be made a two minute process, grow. Right there. Right there. And this can be done individually in our lives as well. Absolutely. What a nice topic. Thank you very much. Thank you guys, I really enjoyed it. I had fun. For the viewers out there, I hope we added some value gave some great advice and take care take care of your time and subscribe to our channel ring the bell yeah ring a bell <laughs> yeah. And, and please give us a like if you do thank you bye bye take care